Hello, my name is Arun Thiraviyam and I am a simulation specialist with GoEngineer. In this video, we will learn how to use the Trend Tracker tool in SOLIDWORKS simulation to improve component design and create custom performance parameters in the Trend Tracker using sensors. The Trend Tracker tool in SOLIDWORKS simulation tracks the impact of design changes on the performance of your designs. The tool generates graphs describing the history of parameters such as stresses developed in the component, the resultant displacements, and the mass of the component as we modify geometry. The primary aim of this tool is to enable designers steer product modifications in feasible direction through graphical feedback. Today, we will look at analyzing the structural strength of a knob on the application of an external torque. The goal of this exercise is to make design modifications in order to minimize the weight of the knob without compromising its structural strength. The knob is made of nylon with a modulus of elasticity of 1000 MPa and a yield strength of 60 MPa. A torque of 50 Nm is applied to the knob on the indicated surfaces. The knob is restrained from rotation through a reference geometry fixture constraining the inner faces. Its axial motion is restrained through another reference geometry fixture on the bottom face. Both these fixtures were defined with an axis as a reference, restraining the degrees of freedom of the model in cylindrical coordinates. On running the simulation, we find that we have a maximum stress of 24 MPa, constituting a factor of safety of about 2.5, giving us a little room for improvement. The trend tracker can be activated by right-clicking the study name on the simulation feature tree and selecting the trend tracker option. This creates a trend tracker item on the feature tree. Selecting the baseline option from the trend tracker item creates a list of graphs for the mass, maximum stress 1 Mises and Tresca, and maximum displacement for the current iteration. Currently, the graphs have one data point from the baseline study. With the trend tracker active, making a modification to the component such as reducing the thickness of the rib and rerunning the analysis records the analysis as a new iteration and updates the graphs with new data points. In this fashion, we can make multiple design changes and keep track of the performance of the component through the graphs. In addition to the mass, max stress and displacements, custom performance parameters can be defined for the simulation with the sensors tool, which can then be tracked with design iterations. A sensor can be set up from the evaluate tab on the command manager. Hitting this button brings up a sensor definition manager on the left hand side of the screen. For our case, let's set up a sensor to track the minimum factor of safety of the model. Once the sensor is defined and the trend tracker is active, the new sensor can be added to the list of track graphs through the trend tracker item on the feature tree. The add track data graph enables you to do this. This way, a new parameter is added to the trend tracker, which plots the variation of this parameter with different design iterations. Now, we can confidently make changes to different features in the knob besides the rib thickness such as the depth of the cut and the body of the knob. With the minimum factor of safety tracked, we can ensure that any design change does not violate the limit of the knob structural strength while minimizing its mass. It is important to note that the sensor tool can be used even without the trend tracker to study simulation performance parameters on your model. 
This tutorial just demonstrates the benefit of combining both these tools, the trend track and the sensor, to help designers make informed design decisions. This is Arun Thiraviyam, and thanks for watching.